Yeah, elite level footwork, and you saw it there on the opening possession. His ability to feel where the defensive player is, stay on balance, step underneath, and step through. If you're Alabama, that is not where Drew Timmy can ever catch the ball. That close to the basket, because if he gets it there, it's over. Jawan Gary from deep, and Alabama, who led the country and made threes last season. You know that in that Texas game, 33% of their shots when he was off the floor came in the paint. When he was on the floor, only 15% of their shots came inside the paint. It's an intimidating factor all with the wingspan of 7'6". Here's the offense is where they rank in the early part of the season as far as scoring as the Zach's close to 87 points per game in Alabama over 80 off the top He's coming off of two of his best games averaging 16 points per in the last two He's been ultra efficient hasn't turned it over rebounding the ball. Well and Attacking the basket Alabama 9-7 Zags Here's a three launched and a pretty stroke from Jaden Shackelford for Alabama. He can back again, getting out and running. I mean, Andrew Nemhard is so good in transition there, turns it over. But I think teams want to see can he step out and shoot the three? Ooh, because pretty reverse. Ooh. Javon Quinn early for Alabama. Follow Mike Schmitz on Twitter as well to get his latest at Mike underscore Schmitz. And he's got full write ups on everybody and a good breakdown. Keon Ellis of Alabama is his latest tweet earlier today, but Alabama enjoying Sean their largest lead They're up five And they're staying true to the identity one of NATO's best attributes is just how much they stay true to who they are Shackelford again His you are mr. Positive except for when Roger picks us up at the hotel a little bit late today. Thanks Roger And the lay and pretty drive and a quick dart by Javon on the baseline and Bolton is denied by Charles Bediaco. And a quick burst again. Javon quit early for Alab going on the road in Boulder, which is not an easy place to play on the road. Very young team for Tad Boyle in Colorado. Strong first half for Alabama. They have hit nine threes. Jaden Shackelford. Oh. Ten first half threes for the Crimson what? Tide. What? <laughs> Mark was working out back in the day, too. That little gun show going on. Yeah. There, you know? uh, but eight out of their 11 points here in the second half have come in the paint. And you know who has not gotten a clean look from the outside, not attempted a three-point shot so far? Jaden Shackelford. Yeah, so defensively staying much more attached to Shackelford and offensively getting back to where their strength is, and that is attacking and finding ways to score in the paint. Top step back. Javon Quinterly. It's a big part of why you see improvement across the board in the SEC. Could be the deepest conference in the country this season. The SEC is loaded from top to bottom. J.D. Davison, a big three for the Crimson Tide. This has one of those games where it feels like a one possession contest at the end. One and one. The 17th foul. And the second on Andrew Nemhard. As Javon Quinerly. Quinerly was sensational last year in the SEC tournament. He's the most outstanding player. Average almost 16 a game in the SEC tournament as the Crimson Tide, the reigning. Jaden Shackelford. Shot clock inside 10. Quinterly's got to attack him. He hits a three from the corner. The physical nature of the game they brought the fight to Gonzaga and they didn't back down Look they won the SEC last year and you're so familiar with that league Sean Where do you see them in the landscape of the SEC this year as Noah Gurley finishes? Well as I mentioned you talk about